Minecraft's latest update brought us bees. So today I'm going to show you how to make this bee house in order to store your bees and have a nice functional farm area for them. So jumping into the tutorial, we're going to be building up these stripped oak logs four blocks high on six of these logs on the outer sides of the build. Now these two middle logs are going to be eight blocks high um, and we're going to stick out one of the logs sticking out and combining them with a horizontal log. So we're going to repeat this process on both sides, making sure it's symmetrical. Next, we're going to be building up these sideway logs four blocks high, but starting on the tallest log, as you can see um, how we've done there. Um, now we're going to repeat this on both sides to make sure this is entirely symmetrical, which should hopefully make this tutorial a little bit more easy to follow. Um, so after we've done that, we're going to add a few more connecting features. We're going to add um, these three blocks going up and then plus one plus one in order to make a small little roof for our top portion. You'll be seeing these annotated um, in the video. So next we're going to create these connecting features, two blocks there and two blocks there in a little small diagonal pattern. So after we've done that on all four parts, we're going to add these cross beams horizontally, um, connecting to the four high block um, logs below. And as well, we're going to add these another set of horizontal cross beams. And with that, we've done most of our scaffolding, except for this front part where we're just adding a couple of little um, cross beams for a little extra flare. After we've done that, we can go ahead and fill in any gaps we've left behind with our spruce planks. Um, this should be straightforward. Just anywhere there's um, a gap of air, just add some spruce planks and you can follow the patterns that I've um, chosen um, in this video. So we're gonna repeat this on both sides. Um, the back side doesn't have a door, so we're just gonna fill in all that, but hopefully you can see um, exactly how I'm filling this in on this little time-lapse area. Um, but it, again, it should be pretty straightforward. And um, hopefully this tutorial is easy to follow. And as well, we're gonna be adding some of this on the sides of the build as well. We're gonna have these three block tall um, spruce plank things. Um, don't worry if you can't see what I'm doing on the other side because it'll be very clear on this side exactly what I'm filling in once we do um, our other side. So we're going to be filling in these blocks, three blocks high, on both of these. And now that we've done that, we can move on to filling in the rest of this little roof area. So we're going to be using acacia slabs. Um, as you can see, we're creating a small diagonal pattern and then we're going to extend it all the way through and letting it overhang one block over our um, stripped oak log that we've already established. So we're going to go ahead and fill in all of these all the way across. Um, we're going to create um, about three roofs for this small bee house. Um, and it'll look pretty cute, I think. I was kind of looking on Google Images to use as references for this build. Um, one thing that I think would look nice is if this could be even redder. Um, so hopefully in future Minecraft updates, we could get something a little bit redder. because I think that would look nice, but for now, I think I've settled for acacia wood. So I think it looks pretty nice with the rest of these textures. Um, so we're almost done wrapping up this little sideways roof. Um, and now that we've completed it, we can go ahead and move on to our main roof. So the main roof is going to be made of the acacia stairs. We're going to add them overhanging one block as well. Um, and we're just going to use uh, slabs for the centerpiece. And as well, we're going to add um, upside down staircases to make a nice little overhang. And we're going to use some slabs and underside staircases to fill out the underside of that roof uh, um, a little bit more as well. And then we're going to build this all the way across um, and continuing to do the same pattern on the other side. This build is pretty symmetrical, so hopefully that makes things easier to follow. If you miss one side, um, you can go ahead and compare it to the other side and it should be pretty straightforward. So we're filling this top part with slabs and as well we're going to go ahead and fill in the other side of the build. Um, I was really excited to make this project because I think it's just a really cute build overall and it should be a nice addition to any kind of world you've already established because it's a pretty versatile kind of style, although it is a bit funky if I say so. Um, so we added some fences in there and now almost our last step we're just, we're just gonna add some of these upside down spruce stairs and a stripped oak log in the middle just to divide it up a little bit. We're gonna do this on both sides. And then we're pretty much done with the exterior of this build and I'll come back and show you some ways that you can um, decorate the interior of the build in just a moment. But now we're just gonna take a look at it. Um, so you, hopefully you guys can use this as a bit of a reference and moving forward, we're gonna go check it out. 
All right, so we have hopped into the latest snapshot of Minecraft. Now we're gonna check out how these bees function in Minecraft. So if we hop inside, we see all these adorable little bees. Um, I think they look super cute. Um, and this is a perfectly little cute area for them to um, pollinate their flowers and go up and access these nests that we've placed at the roof of the house hanging down from fences. Now these blocks are not acquirable through crafting, so you do have to use a silk touch to get these kinds of blocks, but if you do, they look great being hung down by these fences here at the top. And as well, we do have some other hives as well on the side of the build, as you can see right here. We've added all sorts of planters and hives and nests, so the bees can pollinate using the flowers and then go into the hives or nests and create some honey for us. So this design is really cute, really functional, and I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this tutorial and are inspired by the um, interior of this build as well. So I think this build turned out really nicely. If you guys liked the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.